Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about reading error messages. So in Python, error messages can look a little bit intimidating. And when you encounter one, try not to get frustrated and just forget about what it says and just look through your code and frantically try to change things. Because in this video, I'm going to teach you about what the error messages actually mean. So let's say we just had a basic error that was saying um, print x and x doesn't exist yet, right? This first line doesn't really matter right now. But here we see that it's telling you where the error was found. So it was found in the file, and then this gives you the full file path to your file. So if you're not familiar with file paths, they are essentially where the file is located on your computer. And so at the end, it tells you the name of the file, tutorial.py. That's what my file is called. And this is only useful if you have multiple files in your program, because then you'll be able to figure out which file the error came from. Then it tells you what line the error was found. So if we had multiple lines and we just printed something like print start and then we printed end, this would say line two in module because it's line two. So we go look, okay, line two is right over here. Okay, so let's see what we can do. And then in module, that's just saying that it's in your Python file. And the second to last line is essentially just the exact code that caused the problem. And then lastly, down here, it tells you what type of error you encountered and then it tells you what's wrong or how it caused this type of error. And now it says name X is not defined. A lot of times, if it's just a simple error, I just look at the last line. I only look at all this stuff if I actually need to, but this last line can really tell you, or at least the last two lines can really tell you what happened. Now let's give an example where most recent call last actually makes a little bit more sense. So the most recent call last statement in a Python error typically refers to the order in which the calls or operations were performed. So with the most recent one being the most recent call last. And so in Python, when an error occurs, an exception is raised. And if this exception isn't handled using try or accept, the program will terminate and print this traceback. So a traceback is the error message that helps you fix uh, the error. So instead of just crashing, it gives you an error message or a traceback. And so this tries to break the sequence of events that led to the error from the initial call to the line of code that finally resulted in the unhandled exception. So right now we only have one step in the whole program that was creating the error, but here's an example of more of them. So if we had a function and we defined function one and we just called function two and then we defined function two. And then in this one, we called function three. And then in here, we define function three. And here we just decided to raise an exception. So you can raise exceptions on your own. So actually, if I just show you this first, I do raise exception. And then in parentheses, whatever the exception is. So I could even create this as an error, right? And this says traceback. This is where the error was. And it's just called an exception because it doesn't know what it's called. So it's we're just raising an exception and it's called just a bunch of random letters like I just typed. So you can create your own um, errors. You can raise your own errors. This is typically used if you're making a module that you can import, like for example, import random. If you remember, they can create their exceptions that will tell you what's wrong um, and things like that. But anyway, if we go back to our code, we can just raise an exception. An error occurred. And then now we can finally just call function one. And here we get a bunch of other steps. So this entire thing is a traceback. So this is the most recent call. So the first time when we called function one at line 10 over here, then because of that, right? So the first time it says in module, that just means your Python file. But now the next thing, the next step in the error was in function one, the function function one. So we can look at here and it was function two when function two was called then when function two was called, function three was called, and then in function three, then we finally raised an error. And so this can actually be a little bit demonstrated better if I don't decide to raise an error. I could just say x is equal to one divided by zero with our classic uh, zero division error. And so the reason I decided to make all these functions was simply because I wanted to show you how these can stack up. And so when you see this stacking up, most of the time, you're only gonna look at the last line or the last section. The other parts are most likely not your fault, although sometimes they are, but the upper parts are sometimes lines that are even from 
modules like random or any any module that you import but the last line is typically the line that you wrote that caused the error and so the error is division by zero but the reason we get these is because we called function one which called function two which called function three and function three ran this that's why it raised this error and so all i'm trying to tell you here is when you get an error look through it and look through um, which ones you see for example if you see module or a function that you created and not a different module is created when you imported something um, look through them and look at what they did. And if all else fails, you can simply just copy this and search it on Google or something like that.